come to Indonesia. A world all its own. A nation graced by a mosaic of places and people, unique and diverse. 190 million people on 17,000 islands, linked physically by a vast geography, abundant in natural resources. A tapestry of hundreds distinct ethnic groups, practicing many religious beliefs, woven together spiritually by the beliefs that there is unity in diversity, that harmony exists where tolerance and faith reside. We have a saying in Indonesia, Bineka Tunggal Ika, many are one. This is the backbone of Indonesia. As for Indonesia's natural beauty, it is undefinable. And so, let it speak for herself. Selamat datang. Sumatra. For centuries a byword for adventure and mystery. The island is actually a short hop from Singapore. Today's Sumatra offers visitors a rare experience of natural grandeur and vibrant daily life. The forest-clad mountains and lowland plains of Sumatra are home to nomadic tribes and sophisticated civilizations. Fertile soil and buried mineral wealth have created a modern Sumatra of well-kept towns and good roads, linking many corners of this huge island. The undeniable charm of the people and place is equaled only by the ease of access and comfort of travel. But in some corners of this huge land, in Lampung or on Nias, the old Sumatra can still be found. Villages scarcely touched by the modern world, living in harmony with nature. Trackless forests and pristine lakes tell of a Sumatra that will never change. Now I would like also to uh, share with you um, about the um, harmony uh, but living in harmony uh, among the religious followers in Indonesia. As you may know, Indonesia um, is uh, predominantly uh, a Muslim country. Um, out, of the, out of the 235 million populations of Indonesia, there are uh, around 200 uh, million Indonesian um, who are Muslim, and uh, the rest are those that um, uh, adhere um, uh, Christianity, Hindus, and uh, Buddhism, and um, many other sort of um, religions. But uh, one of the uh, very uh, uh, remarkable uh, feature about Indonesia in this uh, context, in this respect, is that um, the uh, uh, living uh, among uh, the religious followers um, are indeed uh, a, a remarkably uh, peaceful and uh, they are um, living uh, hand in hand helping each other and uh, flourishing in, 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 in terms of uh, making the um, uh, society well, I have just uh, touched upon the uh, religious uh, follower living in harmony in Indonesia. I know I would like also to underline the um, importance of um, uh, the intention by uh, religious leader in Indonesia to, um, uh, from time to time, exchange their experience, uh, sharing their uh, thinking uh, on how to uh, flourish the uh, principles of living in harmony among the religious followers by conducting the interfaith dialogues. Um, there have been uh, several times uh, interfaith dialogue conducted in Indonesia, attended by religious leaders not only from the country but also um, 
their uh, their uh, counterpart, their uh, you know, religious leader from different uh, countries, um, from the Middle East and uh, uh, Eastern Europe, and all those invited uh, to attend the uh, interfaith dialogue conducted by the uh, cooperations between Indonesian government and uh, By plane or a magnificent two-hour ferry line, we are at the home of the gods, an island of mystical beauty and one of the most unique cultures on earth, where everything has a soul. Selamat datang. Celebrated in story and song, the engaging dance and inspired art of Bali continues to enchant visitors. But the essence of Bali remains unchanged. Luxurious hotels, fine restaurants, and extensive water sport facilities only complement and enhance the unrivaled experience of a journey to the island of the gods. Bali has many names, such as the Island of a Thousand Temples, the Island of the Gods, and Paradise Island. Bali has a lot of unique cultures, traditions, ceremonies, and social traditional performances, attracting visitors to come to this magnificent island. There are two famous mountains in Bali, Mount Agung, the highest mountain, reaching 3,142, which last erupted in 1963, and Mount Bato erupted in 1927. Bali has fertile land. It's supported by the structure of the land, especially located on the slopes of the mountains. Balinese farmers use it as terrace farmlands. In this area, in the highland, and to the beach is also used as farmland. Farmers plant rice in their farmlands and as you know rice is the main food for local people here. Besides rice farmers also plant many kinds of vegetables many kinds of tropical fruits. You can also find many kinds of flowers with beautiful colors and shapes. <laughs> 